a family picture. The only time you see a family smiling. A wife and husband as happy as can be. A daughter who just got accepted to college. And the triplets who got away with not brushing their teeth this morning. But when someone unwanted steps into the picture, all the smiles sadly go away. Tyler, what the heck are you doing here? Just came to visit my ex-wife, that's all. Do I need permission to do that? No, you should have called. Now why would I need to do that if I live right down the street? What? You don't live here. Oh, but I do. See down there? My buddies and I are, well, trying to pack the stuff into the house. It's quite small. Come on, guys. Get the stuff in. He paid us to do this. Look, I don't know what kind of shenanigans are you playing, but whatever it is, it's not going to work. <laughs> we'll see about that. Gabby and Carl Amato always had trouble dealing with kids, especially their own. Give me that back. No, I'm not going to give you that back. It's mine. Give it back. Hey, 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 stop it. You guys are five years old. You shouldn't be fighting. Back off, lady. Where did you get such words from that? Dictionary, look it up. But the one thing about Gabby is she knew how to solve her problems. How let go of my ear. Yeah, let go of my ear. No, you two have pool duty. Have fun with that. And when she did, she would reward herself by taking a nice trip to the mall. Susan White was always a single mom. She was always desperate for love. And when she saw a nice man jogging alongside Breezewood Lane, she would give him the flirty eyes and then try to get his number. Mom, stop looking at him. I can't help it. You're desperate. Get a hold of yourself. Mom, you can't just walk up to random strangers and say that you want their numbers. They could end up being serial killers. What would I do without you? Bree, the master chef and the most perfect person there would ever be on the lane. Her husband, who's a slob named Rob. And her only son that is considered a bad boy for everything. I can't believe you, Cooper. From egging someone's house. I do what I want, Mom, okay? No, you will not. Are you trying to ruin our reputation? Look, as long as you live under this roof, you follow my rules. Whatever. Look, whatever the reason your father came back, he has a reason. I don't think it's good. It doesn't lean anywhere good, usually. Joy, just be careful. I will. Besides, I want to... Catch up with him. Oh, Sally, you didn't tell me that your ex-husband was moving in. Sorry, Charlie, I was planning on telling you at dinner. Sorry. I just know that he's not up to anything good. And whatever it is, we better be ready for it. Oh, hello, Gabby. Dropping off your little kids. Yes, Sarah, I am. These little brats need some time to adjust, I guess. I'll be at the mall. But it's Parents' Day. <laughs> What's uh, Parents' Day? It's a day where the parents spend a little time with the kids, you know. They feel so homesick here. You know, with the parents come in sometimes and spend time with their children. Please, mommy, please, please, please. <laughs> Fine. Sounds fun. Yay, music. I love music so much. <laughs> Yay. What do you mean? It's not Parents' Day. I know. I'm just doing this to humiliate her. She doesn't spend enough time with her kids. She hardly cares about them. She needs to know how to love and give and be happy with a family. Oh, do you have a phone? Uh, yeah. 
I want to take pictures of this loser mom. Those clowns! Ladies, can I talk to you upstairs? Give me the phone. What phone? I said give me the phone! Gabby, calm down. I don't know what you think you're talking about. Give me the stinking phone! Oops. Oh, you were so paying for that bill. Talk to my China friend. Sue me. She did it again. Ah, oh, I can't believe our pipes for our bathroom broke. Um, I can overhelp hearing that your bathroom pipes are broke. I'm a plumber. Mom, it's the guy from this morning. Really? Well, anyways, yes, our... Our... Bathroom broke and all, I guess you'd say that. Well, I can fix it, just for maybe... Maybe five dollars an hour. That's really cheap, are you sure about that? Anything for a pretty lady. Oh, you don't want to go fixing her pipes. Mine are much better. Oh, are they? Are your pipes broken? Yes, yes, all over the place. Would you like to come to my house and fix them? Uh, here's my number. Thanks, I'll call every single day. Anna, what on earth do you think you're doing stealing my man? Your man? You're the one that blew off your marriage with that other guy. My ex-husband? Yes. I haven't had love in a while and I think I deserve it. Way much more than you do. You just use it and throw it away like it's a plastic bag. No, I'm taking that number. Hey, give that back! Sorry, loser weepers. You give that back white right now. <gasps> the least I can do now, I guess, is... Well... Give me the stinking number. Call 911. Hey, Sally. Oh, hey, Bree. I need some help with family stuff. What kind of stuff? Cooper's been getting out of hand for the past couple of months and... I just don't know how to tame him anymore. Well, I've never had to deal with a bad kid. I mean, Joy's perfect and so far the triplets are heading the right way. I just don't know what to do anymore. It's like he's off his leech and I can't get him back on. He's unstoppable now. Is maybe what you could say it. Maybe. Come and sit down. I'll pour us some tea. <sighs> Cooper, is that you? Joy? I I see you've changed from childhood, Cooper. <laughs> so have you. You look like an old lady. Thanks. I'm in college now. I'm an adult. I'm responsible. So am I. Just, I don't want to go to college. I'd rather live... Life on edge. Right. The last time I remember us seeing each other, we were dating, and then we broke up, and we got into a big fight, and we never, we never said sorry to each other. I want to say sorry right now. Well, it's a little too late for that. Thanks. The preschool called. Kids, why don't you go inside and play? Look, Carl, I'll fix it later. It's just those... those... people at the preschool think I'm a horrible mom. I'm, I'm trying to be one, but I just... I can't. I understand, but... just... Gabby, you have to think twice before you do something. I hope you know that. Family is way more than just that. There's so much more to it. I feel bad for what we did, Claudia. Stop it. But I do. We're so hard to deal with. Yes, all my dear friends on Saturdays would get together and play the game of cards. They would speak about their lives and do whatever is necessary to fix the problems that occur. They all go back home to their families. 
to say hello and good night. We protect our families from predators. Keep them tamed so they don't go wild. We care and love them as hard as we try. We still have hope that that special person might come in our lives after all. But what about those that don't have family? They collapse and turn into monsters forever and are determined to hurt those that do have family and the ones who have love.